Welcome back, family and friends. And today, I got a package from, everybody knows his channel by now, Anthony Rapino, Candy Corn Apocalypse. Yep, y'all know that guy. If you visited my channel, most likely you came from his channel or Johnny Tez's channel. But thanks for being here, everybody, and visiting. But I got a package from Candy Corn Apocalypse, Anthony Rapino. He was doing his annual fall Halloween sale where he makes handcrafted items and he made a new glow-in-the-dark annual pumpkin magnet which I have the first one right here came out last year around this time in 2015 this is cool and it glows in the dark he signs it on the back there Put it back up there. A lot of other creations by him. Show you those real quick at the end of the video. But here, let's get into the spots real quick. See what's in here. Duck knife. He's just not holding up well anymore. But he's going. He's going to make some work on the spots. Got it open. All right, tissue paper. <laughs> some goodie bags so let's see what we got here actually I'm gonna go with the first one that has the new annual glow-in-the-dark jack-o'-lantern magnet one little goodie bag there with some candy digital I can get my fingers in the bag. Got some suckers and Tootsie Roll, another one. Got a little bat ring. That's fun. I got some creepy crawlers. Y'all know I have to say it that way. You can't say creepy crawlers without saying it like that I got a little spider Anthony made these in his creepy crawly machine I don't find a way to stick that on something I almost want to eat it I mean it looks like one of those uh, sour patch gummies it really looks like Still digging, everybody. Give me some time. Another little skeleton ring. Googly eye. Alright. That the first bag is empty. I got a raffle ticket. But you can't see my number. What is this? <laughs> it's like a little ghost maze. That's cool. And he threw in the little glow-in-the-dark pumpkins. They're like little pumpkins. They glow in the dark. They'll be fun to sit around the house for the Halloween season. Let them glow. I like that one right there with the darker orange color. Those are fun. All right, but here's the second annual glow-in-the-dark jack-o'-lantern magnet and this is the traditional jack-o'-lantern magnet more like you know the old school kind of reminds you of like Halloween that's for sure but here you go it should look good he's got a little initials on the back should look great glowing in the dark if I can get these items to glow in the dark I'm sure they glow great 
because this one from last year glowed fantastic. If I can get this one glowing good on, and I capture a picture for you and put it on the camera, on the video, I like that traditional jack o lantern. Here's the first one again, kind of menacing, and, but he got a traditional one this year, so that is cool. And he also had blood splattered ver variant versions of the magnet. I just wanted to get the regular match so they match. All right, let's dig into this little baggie. Another baggie. And if you are a member of the Candy Corn Apocalypse Army Club or Halloween Club, I can't get it right, Tony. It's the Candy Corn Apocalypse Membership Club. We got some more Tootsie Rolls and a little Tootsie Pop. Got plenty of candy lately. I've been craving some candy too, so that's good. And it's Halloween. Of course you want candy. Another creepy crawler. It's like a little bug. Another raffle code. Tony, you need to let me know what those raffle codes are for. And this here is like another pumpkin. Colors in the dark. And this is really cool that I got that I got this. Thank you very much, Tony. This is the seal. But I'm assuming this one glows in the dark. It is the seal that was on his special Greenies from Moon Hill. I got the standard hardcover Greenies from Moon Hill book from him on his Kickstarter campaign. And I've been reading this. Great, great little stories in here. But this is the seal that was on the slipcase that came over the, the, the more, I don't know what you say, exclusive copy of the book. And this was the sigil that was on it. Y'all can't see it, but it's, it's translucent. But the slipcase that went over this book, I didn't get that version, like I said, had the sigil on the, or the seal, or whatever you call this, emblem, on the front of the slipcase. So that's cool that you sent a little, like, medallion, medallion version of it. Definitely going to do something with that. I would like to put a magnet on it. Stick it up on my, with the rest of your creations. Alrighty. I ordered another thing from him. And it was. That's everything in the bo box except this here item. But I got a copy of this first novel. Something else in the bag here. Got a little postcard, greetings from New Hill. But I got a, his book, his very first book he ever wrote, and I've been wanting to get a copy of this, and I finally did. This is the soundtrack to the end of the world. It's Anthony Rufino's debut novel, I believe. Hopefully, I got that right, Anthony. He signed it. Breathe deep of the night. Anthony Arpino, 2016. I want to say this book came out in... I don't know. When did this book come out, Tony? Let's see if I can find it. Doo -doo. 2012. First edition. This is a first edition by Bad Moon Books Publishings. That is awesome. Look at the image on that. Nice and gruesome for us horror fans. It is about almost 300 pages, so that is awesome. After I'm done reading some more short stories on the Greetings from the Hill, his new book, I will read some of that. Here's the letter from Moon Hill. Happy Halloween. I'm going to read a quick little synopsis of this. It says, Here y'all go and enjoy this while I read. Our month is finally here. It's always with equal parts of excitement and melancholy that I greet October. On one hand, it's the greatest month of the year on a 
and it's season I look forward to all year. On the other hand, once October rears its pumpkin-shaped head, I know it won't be long before it fades into the white curtain of winter. Good words, Anthony. You know how to put them together. Until next time, breathe deep in the night and happy Halloween. Second annual glow in the dark pumpkin magnet. There we go. And I want to let everybody know that you can go on Amazon and get your ebook of the new anthology short film. I mean, short stories. <laughs> short film. What am I talking about? Because when everybody thinks anthology, they think films probably. But this is an anthology book of short stories all taking place in Moon Hill by Anthony Rapino and his book just came back out on October 11th 2016 and it's up on Amazon you can buy an ebook if you didn't get a hardcover book or you can visit Prespa Books website I believe and get you a hardcover book I'll find out from Anthony and put that link in the description if you're interested but I actually read some of these and I left a nice review on Amazon.com of your book so everybody head over there and see what I got to say about it. All right. Here's the second annual Glow Dark Pumpkin Magnet. It was the first one in 2015. And here's some other magnet creations that Anthony made. This is the Candy Corn Apocalypse Artifact Magnet. I really like this one. It's got all the little, little runes carved in there. And I've got the Sam Trick or Treat magnet set from him, which are amazing. There's the Sam, and here is the Unmasked Sam. Just great stuff, great detail. The lights are kind of washing the details out, but they're there and they're great. And also, his other greetings from Moon Hill card. I keep it up on the chimney. And this is the Leslie Burden mask magnet he made from behind the mask the rise and fall Leslie Burden which I finally saw that a couple months ago and I really really enjoyed it it's a really cool addition and neat way that they shot that film it's kind of like a found footage type well not found footage it's a documentary type uh, film about someone who's become a slasher icon and he's going around playing his murders. It's cool. So, thank you very much, Anthony, for all the stuff you do over there. Great, great addition. Look forward to seeing it glow. Look forward to reading your Dave Gould book. I'm sure that's going to be interesting. I really like the art on the front of it. Nice and gruesome. It's got a really graphic novel feel to it. But Anthony, thank you for the hard work you do over there. I don't know how you get all this stuff accomplished. And put this on my chimney up there, glowing loud and proud for the Halloween season. Thank you for all the little goodies. Look forward to seeing what the raffle tickets are for. And everybody, visit Anthony Pino's channel. I will put the link in the description below. Just click it. Hop over there, see what he's got to say. He does a lot of the yard sale videos. He talks about Halloween all the time. Talks about horror movies all the time. Mr. Halloween, that's what we call him. Sometimes. <laughs> Take care, everybody. Breathe deep in the night. Yeah, I'm going to use that for a second, Tony.